Hey, 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 everyone. Snapkick back here again. Back at it with some more casting for Gamers EDU CVL. Glad to be back with you all again. Been a little bit. Today we got San Fran running up versus San Jose. I am absolutely excited to get back into some more casting. It's a lot of fun. These games are have all been super, super exciting. I've uh, been needing to catch up on some of what's been going on in the tournament. So I'll be happy to jump back in and start giving my opinion as we move forward. Speaking of which, um, I guess this is as good a time as any to remind all of you to tune in for all of these matches as we keep moving forward. This is to determine who is the best Valorant team Valorant team in all of California. This is pretty big. You know what? One of the teams moving on from here, this is going to be pretty big for them. A lot of different California teams have been stacking up back to back here. This could be really big for whoever is going to be walking away from this with a victory. You never know whenever they're going to, when someone way above is going to look down and go, hey, hey, you. Hey, we we know those uh, 100 Thieves guys. We know those. Yeah, you, you know that Hiko guy? Hey, yeah. Yeah, he like he liked the look of you all. So, this could be really cool for them. At the same time, everyone, tell your friends. Tell your friends to start checking in. This league has been absolutely dope. And it is nearing completion as it is. We are coming into the last couple of weeks, as I believe. We are so close to ending the first official season of CVL. Get everyone in here. You're not going to want to miss this, right? You're not going to want to miss this. By no means. Select your agent. I think this is going to be an absolutely awesome, awesome final series. Seeing some of the best teams play off at the end here. It has been really really good final reminder i guess while i'm still here is uh everyone should be checking out the health and wellness section on gamersedu.org you got the time go ahead look at it just go take a look at it it's good stuff there's a lot of really good information for you there on gamers health gamers you know mental awareness don't get tilted guys it's a video game guys it's a video game you don't want to get tilted you don't want to be feeling bad or poopy over it all right you don't want to be depressed over it you don't want to be caught in your room all day and going man i miss the sunshine go check out that health section it's good for you i promise on top of that um csuea and ritual emotion on discount search uh on discount merch we have discount merch for both csuea and ritual emotion Go check out some of our social media. Go check out some of our pages for uh, more on that. Some good stuff there. All right. It seems like we were trying to get into the game there a second ago, and we may have had a little bit of a technical difficulty. So we're going to be taking a second here, seeing who's working, who's not. And we're going to be hopping in as soon as we can. In the meantime, everyone, let me know in chat. Who do you want to see? Who do you want to see? You know, be nice, be cool, be 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 supportive. Don't be uh completely mean. However, do let me know. San Jose, San Fran, who are you for right now? All right, looks like we might be jumping in here right about now. I haven't been able to catch up way too much on the current standing, so this will be extremely exciting for me to see who's uh who's up front here, to see who's moving forward. I'll be very excited to see just how these teams are going to play out right now, especially since they're all working without Sky. They're all working um without some of the more recent changes, as I know, mainly without Sky. I'm curious to see how some of these players are adapting because I'm sure they're all practicing on, you know, the live servers when they're not here. So to see how they're holding without 
some of the bigger changes, namely a full new character. Pretty insane. All right, looks like we're finally stepping into the game here. We got... Okay, looks like defenders are splitting pretty evenly between B and A right now. Looks like attackers are possibly playing both sides at the same time, moving a little more heavily towards A mid. Everyone's just going to take a little time right now. This is the initial buy econ phase. They're just going to have fun with this first one, it looks like. They're going to suss each other out, see what works. And here we go. Drew King going ahead and taking an orb from mid just right away, rushing directly into long. No fear. Maybe not even the worst idea. Seems like not too many people are moving towards B. Civic with the tremor going out. Adapt trying to push in from bathroom getting a little, little sight blocked leon keeping the sight blocked from a short holding off he knows there's at least one or two people there as soon as that covers down he's gonna have to move though a directly in line of sight daedra daedara getting cut out my god absolutely wall bang that's a shame leon holding the cover Stepping out of the cover and immediately getting spited by Gong. Civic taking down Adept. And it looks like they are planting on A. Oh, and trying to... Civic trying to get the Tremor out. The fault line out. But absolutely blasted by the Rays. It's just up to last two players here on Defender's side. True King is... Holding his own. He is trying his best to get some damage out. Oh, he takes down Nashi. Cloud. No, Cloud B, excuse me. He took down two. Mm, that was some good trades. You know what? For an econ round, that was pretty decent. Attackers walked away with only two people alive, but they still got the victory. That's pretty big for a start. Pretty big for a start. As it is, econ's looking pretty decent. We got a bunch of uh smgs going across the attacker side they're not playing they're not fully investing way too much they're they're keeping their utility they don't want to be going all in on guns so far and we're stepping in looks like we're going to be seeing another a side push here with civic getting caught out in some crossfire back here getting ready to throw down a fault line no charges. They're really just trying to push A mid this entire time. You got one person. Oh, you got Nashi taking out True King over towards B. Christine down Leon. Right there. Civic getting caught out on A lamps. Caught down by Chris. Chris pushing in. And oh my god, Daydara getting pinged the split second Chris is walking around the corner. You hate to see it. Plant. Gong planting and the last one alive on San Fran, Cloud B. Not in a good spot at all. Cloud B seems to be wanting to do a little bit of a push. Maybe Cloud B just wants to stop them from getting a flawless at this point, which they will accomplish, but only just barely. <laughs> only just barely. Absolute shame. All right. Is it going into zero two, round three? Looks like we got some pretty even, uh, pretty even distribution across San Jose uh, as far as kills go. San Fran though, they need to start picking up three zero one zero, then zero zero zero. It's not looking too good for them right off the bat, but you know what? We're just starting out. Kills aren't everything. We'll need to see how this works out. Going out. We're getting basically a very similar push here, it seems like. You got Leon moving back up on those crates. Civic taking out Chris. Big push. Uh, Leon being revealed by the bold. Once again, it looks like they're just pushing up a mid. You got their raise player. San Jose's, that is. Pushing up B window. Pushing up hookah. Being taken out, though. Now that they've had some players taken down, San Jose is absolutely just slowing down, going, okay, we need to step back here for a second. We need to go, how do we approach this? It seems like we've been, this approach has worked the past couple of times. Maybe we need to mix it up. Maybe now they're expecting us to all immediately rush A. 
Looks like they're taking the idea to maybe start moving towards B. They got 40 seconds still, so they're not exactly super tight on time. And San Fran is really holding A. They are really holding A. Leon is ready for the flank, though, as soon as he hears someone outside that left. door. Yeah. And it seems like he is hearing someone outside that door. Getting ready to throw some cover out. He should have the element of surprise right here on the enemy omen. One enemy and there it is. Leon taking down that depth. Cloud B. And finally down to the last member. San Fran taking the first round. Their first round, rather. Good stuff. All right, and we start to see the good guns coming out. Vandal, 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 Vandal Guardian. Full armor. That's what you like to see. This is when Econ's over and when people really start trying their best to shine. We even got one ultimate ready on the side of San Jose with Chris. Pretty good if I do say so myself. This is looking out to be a little bit more of an even match today. Boombot making its way. Boomba making its way up to Hookah. Clearing it out. Yeah, here we go. San Jose making the B push. Elvin taking down True King. Absolutely punishing him for peeking. Meanwhile, Skirmish breaking out in Hookah. Nashi taking down Cloud B. And here comes the Phoenix ult. Let's see. Can he get anything good out of it? He got some info. He absolutely got some info out of it. They are aware of where those two guys are. They are aware of where two out of three, two out of three are remaining. Now two out of one out of two, excuse me. Leon coming in for a bit of a cheeky flank, not able to get anything. Sig taking on Adept, Chris and Gong taking the last two kills for San Jose. Good stuff. Okay, we're coming into round four now. Uh, once again, we're on. We're no longer on Econ. Even after losing that round, everyone's still able to get full armor, still able to get their Vandals, their Guardians, whatever it is they want. We even got two Ultimates on this side of San Fran. Let's see if they can make a bit of a pushback here because I would love for them to... I'd love for this first half to be just a little more even. I would love for it to come out as even as possible here. I want to see a nice long game. I think both these teams are very capable, are both very capable of handling each other. Oh my god, Cloud B, the wall bang headshot into Hookah. Absolutely insane aiming and prediction right there. That is the culmination of a lot of skill. A lot of skill and a lot of practice. Going to go for a few more shots like those. No such luck, though. Aw, oh, and Chris. You know what? That trick could only work once. I'm so sorry, Cloud B, but it looked great when it did. Chris taking down Cloud B, and they are now pushing B site. Spike planted. Spikes down on site B. San Jose has the point kind of on lock right now. Daydara is doing their best to just suss them out. Try to get an idea of where they are. Maybe see if they can even get some kills. At this point, I feel like they should probably just be saving. Nope, there, there you go. Step out. Step into sight. And San Jose will see you. San Jose has all of the angles covered. Even with just four players, they absolutely know every possible angle you could be coming from, it seems like. They have San Fran completely sussed out. If you take a peek around a corner onto their site, you better believe you're going to be directly into their site. All right. It looks like San Fran's having to do a little bit of an econ round. They're doing some light shields, but they do have a marshal going up and three out of five alts still at the ready. Gong getting some info so he can pull out that ultimate. Gonna miss the first two shots. Let's see. Can he hit a third? Nah, that's a shame. He got the basic info he needed, but he 
alerted the enemy well enough what he was doing. They can look at the top and go, okay, he has his ultimate ready. I think we can know that if Sova's going to hunt us down with the owl cam, we can probably be pretty sure what he's about to do. Right. We can put two and two together. Speaking of ultimates, here comes San Fran's Omen getting ready to go for a flank, it would seem like. Chris finding Civic and Gong taking him down. Very quick, very clean skirmish. Meanwhile, Gong planting A. Spike planted. Once again, San Fran, excuse me, San Jose has just walked on point. They have completely torn down San Fran's defenses. And once again, too, it is just the last one or two players from San Fran who are covering the other site now going, oh, okay, we need to come back and defend the point that's currently being attacked. And you give San Jose two seconds to set up the site. <laughs> You're not getting on to that point. Very good shots. Some very good shots all around. Good clean kills, but sadly, not exactly enough for San Fran. As we're stepping into these last couple, last half matches of the first half, I guess you say the last first quarter, if you will. I think I really want to see exactly how San Fran is going to start fighting San Jose's angles. Now you could just say, okay, just don't let them get on point at all. That would be the that would be the simplest solution here. Don't let don't let San Jose get on point and they can't absolutely out angle and out hold you. But at the same time, I feel like there's got to be a way for them to fight these just amazing angles and corners they're holding. In the meantime, though, let's see how they play it out. Leon holding bathroom. Yeah, looks like looks as if San Jose is trying to push a mid. They might be. Yeah, they're rotating around to B. No. They're really scattered around right now. Looks like they're all grouping up on A long and just going for a big old push. They're just waiting for everyone else to show up. Adept taking down Civic. Daydara taking down Nasi. Gong on Daydara, the trade. Back and forth, back and forth. Leon moving on to point. Leon! Oh my god! Elvin taking down Leon. El Leon, that was a great play by him. Moot just teleported directly into cover on point and said, you know what? You don't know I'm here. Here I go. Bop. Bop. Absolutely downed. Meanwhile, True King, not in the greatest spot right now. He's He avoided the killjoy. He avoided the killjoy, and that's the most important thing that could have happened right there. As it is, he now just needs to decide if he wants to survive or if he wants to go for kills. And to me, it looks like he might just be saying, nah, I'll see y'all later. I'll see you all a different day. I'm holding my gun. And I can't blame him at this point. Hold your vandal, buddy. Hold your vandal. You know that San Jose has those angles. Even with just two. 2v1, I think they've learned, okay, San Jose holds the site way too well once they have the spike down. Once we get to that point, we need to just cut our losses. If we're already, you know, missing all but one of our players, may as well cut our losses and walk away right there. Get out of my way. Okay, and here we go. San Jose pushing B hard, it seems like. I think they finally just decided, you know what? We need to just stick together and push the same site all at once. Going back and forth, having one player, one or two players on the opposite side, Nancy panzing about, hasn't gotten us a lot of good. Sometimes they've gotten a kill out of it. Sometimes they've lost a player out of it. Chris taking down True King <laughs> with the with the ultimate. You know, it's there for safety, but didn't make the, the greatest use of it right there. Oh my God, Civic getting the flick. Headshot onto Nassi. Absolutely sick. Getting sussed out, though, with the bolt. They're aware of where the last two San Fran players are. And Chris takes them both down. The wall bang to Civic. Hookah is just such a dangerous spot to be sitting in. Absolutely. It is so 
if you're in hookah and people know you're there especially people on b site you have very little space to actually put yourself to cover that little lip at the bottom of the hookah window is so easy to wall bang through it seems like for professional players i should say <laughs> professional players someone like myself maybe not so much but for these guys it's such an easy shot to just go okay you're gonna crouch and stand back i'm just gonna shoot at the bottom there you are speaking of there you are b long getting called out two players con the recon bolt and it seems as if San Fran is thinking they are going for a B push. They are diverting some attention over to B side. But a majority of play of uh, San Jose's players and their spike is actually on A. This could be the kind of distraction that uh, San Jose just needed. Coffee taking down Chris. Leon taking down Adat. Okay, here we go. Gong take. Oh, Gong. My God. Leon and Daydara, it looks like they cleaned up on B side, and now San Fran is just walking back over to A going, all right, we called your bluff. Maybe we didn't even call your bluff, but hey, we saw your bluff. And there you go. Defenders take another point. Just good gunplay. True King walking out ahead. Once again, uh, we have some very... We have some pretty even kill distribution here. True King, despite being one of the lower people on his leaderboard right now, obviously showing he's a very good shot. So, you know, say he's two and three right now. It doesn't really matter too much. He's clearly capable of showing his skill. It doesn't matter that he's low right now. As always, kills don't matter just by how you see them. It's more about how they end up playing out, how much... How much your team lets you get on top of how are you doing support wise as well speaking of leon taking down gong it looks like a long is turning into a little bit of a meat grinder they're still going to try to push from there they're still doing their absolute best going to be denied visuals though san fran is going nah you're not coming through here oh elvin taking down cloud b yeah, at this point, San Jose just said, nah, forget this. Chris walking up behind True King going, hey, how do you do? Uh, we're going to your B site now. Hope you don't mind. Nasi with the nasty kill. Very good angle on the door there. Absolutely sliced that pizza. Spike is down and Chris taking down Leon leaves only one player left on San Fran to try to retake, but with the Killjoy down, there's not a lot they can do. Nasi might be getting a little greedy here, going for a kill, and interesting. Maybe they thought uh, Daydara had ran past cover again, so they pulled out a knife trying to rush him down, but they ended up just pulling out their knife straight and looking down the barrel of Daydara's gun. Not that it changed too much. Chris taking down Daydara. And there you go. We're coming into round 10, nearing the half, and San Jose is absolutely far and away just blowing through this. Amazing players like Chris and Nazi can just absolutely change the course of entire games. It is insane how, how much one or two very good players on your team just far and away. If they are good at killing, then guess what? <laughs> You, and you're not doing amazing counterplays, and you don't have amazing strategies. Oh my god, Nasi taking down True King. And we were already down to a 4v1. Oh my god, that was the one of the quickest rounds I have ever seen. My god, and I was, I was off on a tangent there, and they just absolutely flew through that round. San Jose taking round 10. The alt coming out of Gong, too, was... Mm, very good. Very, very good. Only took one shot at that all to take down someone. And then everyone seemed to got pretty even kill distributions, cleaning up who was left over. I will rip the light from them. Let's see if they can play like that again. Yeah, this time San Jose is splitting up. Once more, they're splitting up, getting their, uh, putting their pressure across the board a little more evenly. 
after such a clean round, they're probably running a little bit on cloud nine right now. Playing high. Oh my god, Leon on Adapt up on top of the box. He's Leon has been up on top of that box almost every round now, and he's just constantly been like, yeah, this is my home. This is where I belong. I'm comfortable here. See, you think you think that San Jose might start looking up there a little more, but apparently not. True King taking down Nazi. Chris holding that nice corner towards uh B. Trying to get an idea of where people are so he can start just moving in. He, had, he looks like he had an idea of where player was, but Wallbang didn't quite connect, and simply walking around a corner without slicing that pizza was enough for True King to just go, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. Leon taking a information-gaining teleport. He now knows exactly where that Killjoy left. is. And there we go. Enough for Daydara to be alerted. Hey, Elvin's up in hookah. Switching sides. Go for it. And that's all that's needed. We're coming in. And that's the half point right there. See, we're not coming into. That is the half point right there. Let's see how these teams play out on opposite sides now. As we've seen, San Jose has been absolutely killer on attack. Let's see if they can hold up that well on defense. They're playing pretty light econ, as you can tell. A lot of ghost. Not worrying too much about shields. You just take the ghost. You know, if you're a good shot, you just take the ghost. That thing does nasty work. At this point, you're going for kills, not so much for survivability. As weird as it is, in econ round like this, your life and their life are on pretty equal terms. Whereas normally, your life is worth more. And oh my god, defenders just pushing into attacker spawn. Trying their best, but ultimately getting called out. Leon taking down Chris and Nasi taking down Leon. Defenders will take this. Excuse me, defense. Excuse me, sorry, I got my teams mixed up there. Defenders taking that round. colors i'm looking at the colors and thinking of them as the team that's my mistake san jose absolutely just called out there they tried pushing in towards attackers and san fran was like nah nah we're ready with that we're ready for you to pull that kind of stuff all right san fran making the push towards a long going out which is honestly the right call you see him right here as a vast majority of San Jose is over towards B. So if they push this site and they push it fast, they could uh, get set up pretty well. Yeah, you can see the entirety of San Jose is just rushing their way over. Elvin taking down Cloud B. Nasi trying to corner snipe that little sentry drone. Nasi, Nasi checking the corners, but not reacting quite fast enough to the, the omen stand, standing there saying hello. Defenders walking away with the win there once again. San Fran is pushing their absolute hardest right now. They're going, okay, we're nearing the end of the game as it is. We need to just push. We need to make them regret having those good angles because if you're san francisco and you see that san jose by the time they plant they play defender on attack just as well then by the time they're playing defender my god you don't want to deal with their angles such as chris here taking down two in b mid daydara taking down chris in a depth Absolute trades back and forth. It's already a 2v2. Gong with the Odin. Ready to shred and tear. My god, that was just a bit of a bloodbath right there. That was a bit of a spray and pray situation between both teams. Good aim. Not saying they had bad aim. Just saying that was a bit of a, a fast reaction sort of, you know, panic situation. Deidara getting ready to run into someone up here, it would seem like. In fact... Elvin, Elvin, check your back right now. 
Elvin, check your back. No, never mind. It looks like San Fran is just pushing towards A, just barely walking past Elvin. Daydara planting on point. Elvin quickly getting the snapshot onto True King, who is just looking away. Daydara left on point to defend. Aware of where Elvin is. Dong, on the other hand, is might be a bit of a mystery. Never mind. Never mind. That's how you make yourself aware. That's how you make yourself a threat. Dong with the static shock electric bolt taking down Daydara in bath match point an awesome shot like that can just absolutely change things around something with a little aoe like that is all you need to chase out of a tight corner like bathroom when you're in a tight corner like bathroom and you know that you have a sovin who has even just a sliver of a look in that corner if they got an electric shot up um you might not want to be in that corner I will be absolutely nightmare. not Daydara Daydara could have possibly dashed out kept moving Don't somewhere so laid down some cover it. but when it's a 1v2 situation like that you're you're holding your breath Chris taking down Leon immediately for match point here let's see if San Jose can take it back can take the entire game even though it's uh, already a well it's it's already a 4v5 so we can we can take some guesses. Nasi taking down True King. Skirmish breaking out there. True King just trying to get across going. I just need to return to my home planet. Nasi! Oh my god. Just popping on in saying, hello, this is my territory. You are not coming in here. Firefight breaking out through the cloud cover. Civic covering his back. Well aware there's two back there. And that's game. And that's game. All it took was getting caught out in mid inside of that little tunnel. And San Jose is walking away with the victory. Great stuff. Absolutely stellar plays. Yeah, we're walking out at... We're looking ahead here at the leaderboards. Chris and Nasi are absolutely stellar players for their team. You can tell. They have a lot of game sense behind them. They also just have darn good aim. And look at that econ ring on Chris. Wow. Good stuff. Absolutely. Great plays by both teams. But naturally, or rather, as it were, San Jose has just walked out ahead. And that's going to be it for San Fran versus San Jose. We got two more games coming up later today. But I'm very happy you all came out today uh, here to join me. Hope I did you some justice. Hope the game was fun. How was the game? How was the game? Guys, how was the game? Keep watching. Keep coming back. This is some great stuff. We got some great other commentators coming up ahead for you. They're going to keep good care of you. Anyways, I've been Snapkick. You can find me elsewhere. Follow the Gamers EDU. Do it. And follow some CVL. And I'll see you all some other time. Take care.